All new at 6, a project in the works for years has finally come together. The Texas Department of Transportation and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Projects to add wildlife crossings along State Highway 100 now being installed. CBS 4 Tiffany Huertas has more. TxDOT and U.S. Fish and Wildlife are working together to keep one of the nation's rarest and the valley's most treasured cats alive. It's very important that individuals know that if they're going to be uh, traveling on that area, that is uh, the habitat of the ocelot. One of the animal's biggest threats is being hit by cars. TxDOT will be installing four wildlife crossings along State Highway 100, costing about $5 million. Work will be done between Shear 27 Road and Palm Boulevard this month. Port Isabel resident Kevin Hoffman travels on State Highway 100 every day. You used to see a lot of a lot of dead animals. They couldn't jump over the medians or they couldn't get through the fences. Hoffman says this is a step in the right direction. To give them a, a way to, to actually cross there and to, to let us know about it, you know, by signage or whatever it is, to be aware of it, um, I think it's a very positive thing. This project did have its challenges, including where the signs would be placed. We need to put fencing alongside the road that would help the animal cross at that particular point. As CBS4 first reported last year, this conversation became urgent after two ocelots were killed within one year of each other on State Highway 100. Hopefully they're not they didn't die in vain because I think it really highlighted the importance of getting these wildlife crossings in. The project is expected to be complete by November 2017. It is an attempt to balance the objectives of both entities, uh, one preservation and the other one safety. In Cameron County, Tiffany Huerta, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.